Hey, all you cool cats and kittens. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, it's Mr. Karam here uh, with some more music theory, theory corner stuff going on. Uh, of course, all these concepts um, are somewhat review, but for this e-learning in spring of 2020, uh, spring of 2020, um, some of these are some newer concepts. So this is a concept we've dealt we've delved into. We, we've we've um, kind of swam in these waters a little bit, but we uh, definitely need to review. And for some of you, it's brand new material. So today, I would like to talk to you about meter and specifically compound duple meter. So of course, be taking notes on all this stuff uh, and be prepared for what uh, what will be to come as far as, um, <clears throat> you know, a quiz toward the end of this, this um, e-learning period. So here we go. Let's dive in. So we're, we're looking at compound duple meter. Now, if we went, if we go back, we could look at the other time signatures, four, four, three, four, two, four. Those are in the simple meter category because they are devised into twos instead of threes. And we're going to, I've got an example of that in just one second, but now I want to look at something that is a little bit more complex, a little bit, um, I guess the next step in our, um, learning about meter is compound duple. And those mean two things. Number one, compound means that you subdivide the beat normally into threes. Simple meter is when you divide it into twos. Okay. So most of what we've done so far is in simple meter where it's one and two and three and four and so it's it's each beat is normally divided by twos even one e and uh, two e and uh, three e and uh, four e and uh, you know that's by fours but still not by threes three would be different okay so what we're looking at is not four four two four or three four it's what we call six eight time. Okay, so let's take a look at 6-8 time. If you were to look at a measure of 6-8 time, it would look a lot like 3-4. Uh, In fact, it would have just as many eighth notes in the measure as 3-4. 3-4 and 6-8 and have the same amount of eighth notes. So if we go back and we look at our six, eight, you know, uh, just visual here coming from pianotv.net. We know how to diagnose a key signature. So the top number is how many beats per measure. And the bottom number is what note gets the pulse, what note gets the beat. So if we diagnosed it as such, if we um, analyzed it as such, it'd be six uh, notes, six pulses in a measure, and the eighth note gets a pulse, which can be true, but there's a little caveat to that. That's one of the reasons this is a more complex concept, uh, a more um, advanced concept, is because a little caveat, which we're going to talk about in just a second. Okay, so let's go back to this this image here coming uh, to you from our friends of School of Composition. So the top, the top line is 6-8 here and the bottom line is 3-4. You can tell that in each measure there are six eighth notes, which is totally correct. So in 3-4 time, if I were to perform that, performing the, strong, uh, the beats plus the uh, subdivision, it would be 1 and 2 and 3 and 1 and 2 and 3 and. And that was the bottom line of this image here, right? But now we go into six, eight time, six um, notes per measure, and the eighth note gets the pulse. But you can see here that the numbers are every four beats instead of every single, or every, you know, every fourth, um, sorry, uh, every, <clears throat> they're, there are only two strong beats, I guess, two main beats, two pulse beats in each measure. So there's not six, there's only two. So 
we're going to take that and we're going to put the big beats. Uh, we're we're going to give three eighth notes to every big beat just to kind of span it out a little bit because six, eight is not one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. Instead, we feel six, eight as two larger beats within the measure. So it's ba, 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 ba. So one, ba, ba, two, ba, ba, one, ba, ba, two, ba, ba. Now, we're not going to say ba, ba. That's a little weird. So we're going to, uh, plus having ba and ba next to each other, it's going to cause us some trouble down the road. So instead, what we're going to do, and this image here is coming from Donna Schwartz music .com. We have, we're going to give the, the eighth notes in every measure that are not the beat, that are not the number, of course, because you got to have a number at the beginning of every beat. We're going to assign them the first eighth note will be la, and the second eighth note of the big beat is going to be li. So one la li, two la li, one la li, two la li. So if I go back to my first example or my, one of my first images here, uh, school of composition, the six eight measure is one la li, two la li, one la li, two la li. Or if we compare it to the three four, it's one and two and three and one and two and three and. So it's a different feeling, but it's the same amount of eighth notes. So that's part of meter. Meter is how you feel the pulse and how you feel the beats, how you feel the notes within the measure. So six, eight, and three, four, although they have the same amount of eighth notes in a measure, they are felt differently. They're felt differently. Six, eight has two big beats subdivided by three eighth notes, and three, four has three big beats subdivided by two eighth notes. So that's that's the feeling. So one lolly, two lolly, one lolly, two lolly. That is six, eight time. Okay. Now the next thing um, we talk about big beats. I just we already subdivided those for you with the beginning. You know, it's the, the beginning of the eighth note set. The three eighth note starts on one and then two. So if I were to add eighth note plus eighth note plus eighth note, and I made it one long note, we would then have oops, we would then have dotted quarter notes. So that's that is technically what gets the beat in these examples is a dotted quarter note. Okay. So in this example coming to you, you know, this image coming to you from musicnotesnow.com, um, it shows us two examples, um, two measures rather of six, eight time, one with two dotted quarter notes and another measure with six eighth notes. So those dotted quarter notes would be it's, their own beat because those are long notes those are the big beats in those measures one two they sound just like quarter notes regular quarter notes if if um if i didn't give you anything else if i didn't tell you it's six eight time if i didn't tell you it's compound if i didn't demonstrate the eighth notes and how they're subdivided so in this example, it would sound like one, two, one lolly, two lolly, and that's it. So the, in six, eight time, the dotted quarter note is the big beat. And the eighth note is then the subdivision, but each subdivision or each note is subdivided into three instead of two like we're used to. Okay. So that's, that's the, the bulk of six, eight time. Now, in this particular semester, we're looking April of 2020. Um, we do not have anything in varsity or in um, Serenus that has uh, that uh, example. We were, uh, or meter, time signature. We were moving into that in sight reading, but we never got a chance to actually do it. So six, eight time. As simple as I could put it, it is a changing up of the beat. 
right? We're used to um, like simple duple. And now we're, I'm asking you to do compound duple. And so duple, by the way, is how many beats is the measure divided into. So duple, of course, means two. And so if we're looking at a, a measure or if we're looking at six, eight time, we have two big beats like we were just talking about. But the beat is subdivided into threes instead of twos. So it means it's compound because it's divided into three and it's duple because the measure can be, can be evenly divided into two. So there, there, um, there are other categories too. There will be some more videos up that explain the difference between simple and compound and uh, duple and triple, things like that. But by and large, the, the biggest takeaway for this one is what is a compound meter? Compound meeting each, each big beat is divided evenly into threes. So again, this measure here is one, two, one lolly, two lolly. Sorry, not that measure, but that, that little example there. There are other examples that I might um, just provide for you uh, down the road, but I, I, I think this is just very basic, just intro to this stuff because um, it's, it's very cool. Um, I love, 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 love 6-8. In fact, my favorite time signature is 12-8 time, uh, which um, if you're following along, 12 eighth notes per measure which means four big beats. It's one lolly, two lolly, three lolly, four lolly, one lolly, two, et cetera, et cetera. So it's a, it's a 12, eight. I also like nine, eight, which is three big beats. And each big beat is divided into three eighth notes. One lolly, two lolly, one, uh, sorry, one lolly, two lolly, three lolly, one lolly, two lolly, three lolly. And I just conduct these because it's good to, to internalize it and to create, you know, um, to, to involve your body in music uh, in, in various ways. So that's what I got, six, eight time. Check it out, be prepared, take your notes, and we'll see you later. Bye.